so welcome to everything computerized i am ca and today in this video i have something special for you and as you might have guessed from the thumbnail and the title of this video i am going to show you how you can use your smartphone as a webcam for your computer so watch this video till end and let's get started So webcam is becoming one of the most important computer accessories nowadays and so if you don't have a webcam or your existing webcam has a very bad quality then you don't need to buy a new webcam because till the end of this video you will be using your smartphone as a webcam for your computer. So don't skip this video in between because there are many minor steps which you might miss and end up with nothing. So let's get started. So for this you need to install two applications. One is for your computer and one is for your smartphone. And the application which we are going to use is DroidCam. The prerequisites for this thing to work is of course your computer on which you are going to use the webcam. Second is your smartphone which you are going to use as a webcam. And the third one is the mode of connection between the two. So you can either use it wirelessly by using Wi-Fi or you can use them wired by using USB data cable. So I will show you both of the modes that is Wi-Fi and USB cable. So you will be able to use the smartphone in both circumstances. So let's head on to the installation process. So first we are going to install the client side application that is the application for our computer. So open a web browser and there you need to search for DroidCam. And now you need to head on to the website which has the link as www.dev47apps.com and you will be on the official website of DroidCam. And now scroll a bit and then you will find two clients. So one is the Windows client and one is for Linux. So as we are on Windows, so we will download the Windows client. So click on this icon which has the caption as download Windows client. And when you will click on it, you will be on the download page. And now click on this link which says DroidCam client version 6.4.3 download. In my case, it is the latest version and when you are watching this video, it might be some different version. So don't worry about the version. They all are supported. Just click on this link and it will just open up the download page. As I have already downloaded it, I will not download it again. So once you have downloaded it, close the browser and then you need to go to this PC and then you need to go to downloads and then there you will have your application that is droid cam setup so in order to install this double click on it and after some time the installation wizard will be in front of you so click on next and click on i agree click on next and now here it is asking for two options uh, that is android usb support apple usb support so if you have uh, android device then you can choose android if you have an apple device then you can choose apple and if you are planning to use both of them then you can just leave it as it is so i will leave it as it is then click on install if you don't know what these things are you can just leave it uh, as default and now click on install and it will take some time and then it will have droid cam client installed on your computer and now click on finish so we have successfully installed droid cam so here you can see on the start we have two applications newly uh, added to our system that is droid cam client and the second one is the hd mode so when you open droid cam client for the first time it will open up this small thing which we are going to see further in this video so let's close this and the second one is the mode of the video which we are going to use our webcam as so there are four modes the first one is 480p second is 720p at 4 is to 3 ratio 720p at 6 is to 9 ratio and the last one is 1080p at 16 is to 9 ratio 
it says that droid cam will use more cpu power battery with hd options 720 with 16 is to 9 ratio provides best balance of quality and resource uses so it's all upon you but the most stable thing which you can use or the most stable setting on which you can use the droid cam is 720p 16 is to 9 ratio so this is the best setting for you and i think when you install a droid cam in, on your computer it will be the default setting so i will choose the most stable uh, setting that is 720p so when you open hd mode normally by clicking on it then if uh, you choose any of the setting and click on restart computer then what it will say you need to toggle hd mode as administrator and it will give an error this is because Droid cam cannot access these settings when you don't open it as administrator so in order to change the settings you need to open hd mode as an administrator so right click on hd mode and then click on more and then click on run as administrator and now you can choose the settings so click on the desired option and then click on restart computer so as you can see that my computer has been restarted now when i go to hd mode 720p 16 is to 9 is my default resolution now now let's go to our smartphone and install the droid cam application on it so open play store and there you need to search for droid cam and now you need to install this application which is droid cam webcam for pc click on install and then once it gets installed you need to close play store and open the installed application from the app screen so when you open droid cam for the first time it will open the welcome screen click on next click on got it and now it will ask for your permissions so click on allow now again click on allow now this is the default home page of droid cam on your android device so there are many other features which you can browse here so here this icon on the top is for selecting the camera of your android so when you click on it you will have the option to use the back camera or the front camera as a webcam so depending upon your needs you can use any of the cameras you require Front camera will be useful because it will give you a glimpse of the image captured by the webcam on your phone and if you use the back camera you will be able to use the best camera of your phone because back camera is generally the best camera of your android device so depending upon your choice you can choose any one so I will choose front camera now click on these three dots and click on settings and here you will have some of the settings which you can use to customize droid cam application so the first two are not that useful the second one is auto dim screen so when you are using android phone as the webcam and if you are not interacting with your android device then what it will do is in order to save battery power it will dim the screen so that it saves battery and now the droid cam port is something which we don't have to worry about click on camera and here you can limit the frame rate because higher frame rate means higher battery consumption and if you are low on battery on your phone then you can click on this and enable the limit frame rate setting now here in the microphone we have the noise suppression feature which is enabled by default and if you don't want noise suppression then you can disable this and now other settings are not for our concern so press the back button and you will be on the home screen now you can connect your android device to your computer with two modes the first one is the wireless mode this will require your android device to be connected with your computer with wi-fi and the second option is to use the usb data cable and this will require a data cable in order to connect your android device to your computer so i will show you the data cable connection first and then we will go to the wi-fi setting so let's first understand how you can connect your android device to your computer as a webcam by using a data cable 
So in order to use data cable, first you need to open settings of your device and then you need to enable developer mode. For that you need to go to about phone and then you need to go to software information and there you will find built number. So depending upon your brand, you need to go to your about phone and then you will find built number. And now you need to click on built number several times. And then it will ask for your screen password if you have any. So I have a pin, so I will enter my screen pin and then developer mode will be enabled in my device. So go to developer mode uh, or you can say developer options as in my device. Make a note that different brands have a different software uh, UI. So it all depends on your brand. I have a Samsung phone. So this is how the UI of Samsung is. So go to developer options and then scroll a bit until you find USB debugger. So under debugging, I have found USB debugging. So click on it and then click on allow debugging. And now our USB debugging is enabled on our phone. Now you need to close the settings and now you need to connect your Android device to your computer by using a USB data cable. So once you connect your phone to your computer via USB cable, it will ask some things. So click on allow and now our device is successfully connected to our computer. If you are connecting your device to your computer via USB cable for the first time, it might ask you for some other options also. So you need to allow everything which it asks for. And now you need to open Droid Cam on your computer. So you need to keep Droid Cam uh, open on your Android device and then along with it you need to open Droid Cam on your computer. So when you open it there are three options on the top. So you need to choose the second one that is connect over USB. So when you click on it you will have this particular window in front of you. Click on this refresh button and once your device is available to your computer via USB cable it will be listed here. So my device has been successfully identified by Droid Cam and it is SMG610F. Once your device is uh, been identified by Droid Cam, it will display the model number here. And now here you can choose video or audio. If you want just the video, you can just click on video and leave audio as blank. If you want audio plus video, then you can choose both of them. But I only want video, so I will deselect audio. Now you need to click on start. And once you click on start, Droid Cam will connect to your phone and as you can see that our camera is being monitored by your computer. Now let's see if it is accessible by other applications or not. So if you are running Windows 10 on your computer then it will be pretty easy for you. Just go to start and then you need to search for camera. And now open this application and if your webcam is working then you can see that our application has successfully read it and now you can use this webcam in order to attend your online classes your meetings or make a youtube video with your face cam so this is how to use your android device as a webcam by using a usb data cable let's now see how to connect your phone via wi-fi so let's close everything click on stop in order to stop this uh, monitoring and then close the droid cam application in order to use your android device as a webcam over the wi-fi you need to make sure that your phone and your computer are both connected to the same wi-fi network the best option for this is to turn on mobile hotspot on your phone and then connect to that wi-fi network via your computer or if you have a Wi-Fi router at your home, then also you can connect your phone to that particular Wi-Fi network and connect your computer to that Wi-Fi network. And so you will be having both of your devices connected. But just make sure that both of them are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. So I will be going to use Wi-Fi hotspot for this purpose, which is according to me the best option available. So what you need to do is turn on mobile hotspot on your phone and then go to your computer and connect to the Wi-Fi network of your phone. 
so you can see that i have connected my computer to the hotspot of my phone and we are ready to go with it now in order to connect your droid cam with the computer you need to close the droid cam on your phone and open it again and now you can see that our device ip address and the droid cam port is successfully displayed on the screen now open the droid cam on your computer and now you need to click on this wi-fi that is connect over wi-fi lan click on this and the device ip on the computer screen should match with the device ip on the phone as well as the port should also match so on my phone it is displaying 192.168.43.1 which is coincidentally the same on my computer also so if it is something different on your phone then what you can do is delete this particular thing and type it again which is the ip displayed on your phone screen so i will type it again just for the sake of completion i have typed the ip now the port should also match so we are done with it now the same thing you need to choose video audio or both so i will choose just video and then you need to choose the camera on your phone so i will choose the front camera and now you need to click on start on the computer and as soon as you start you can see that our camera is successfully connected or you can say our phone is successfully connected to our computer and now again we will open camera on our windows 10 computer or any other windows version that you're using and when you open it then you'll be able to see that our webcam is perfectly working now as you have this high resolution camera as your webcam you can attend meetings, uh, online appointments, online classes and also YouTube videos if you wish. So in order to close everything, click on stop and then it will be disconnected. Close everything and you are done. So this is how you can use your phone as a webcam. And uh, this particular application is supported on iOS also. So if you don't have an Android device, then you can also use it with iOS each and every step is same you just need to follow it as i have told you so this is all for this video thanks for watching and if you are new to this channel a sub to the channel would be incredible thanks for watching and see you in the next video